so for today's video I'm going to be doing a DIY Tumblr autumn room decor video. So I asked you guys on my Instagram what you wanted to see and literally Tumblr room decor and autumn room decor was the most requested video. I kind of already been planning to do one of these but I always get a bit iffy when I do DIY room decor videos because I'm like what can I do, like how can I make them pretty cheap so that you guys can recreate them as well. But I think I've come up with really good ideas this time. But yeah, so today I'm going to be doing a DIY autumn room decor video, but instead of just kind of doing an intro and then going straight into it, I thought I would sit down and talk you guys through the DIYs and overlay clips of how to do them because I thought that would be a bit different and a bit more fun so I can have a proper long chat with you guys. Also, just a quick huge thank you for 90,000 subscribers. What is even like that's 10,000 away from 100,000 like that's crazy and I'm so excited I cannot thank you guys enough but without further ado I'm going to get straight into the DIYs and the ways you can make your room more autumn because that's probably what you're looking forward to most so the first DIYs I'm going to start off with are these really cute DIY little pumpkins so you will need some polystyrene pumpkins some paint a sharpie what else do you need some tape if you're going to do patterns and all of the things like that I will leave at what you need over the screen here. So I decided to get my copper paint and I decided just to paint one of the whole pumpkins copper. I thought this looked amazing and because I've added a bit more copper and rose gold into my room now I thought this would really benefit my room especially because it's coming up to Halloween with all the pumpkins. So you could do a chevron pattern if you wanted to which is why I included tape in the what you need. You could just put the tape in a chevron pattern and paint the parts but it doesn't have tape. Take the tape off and you will have a chevron design. I'm planning on doing that after this video but for the purpose of this video I decided just to paint mine completely copper. I literally loved how this turned out so much and I actually have it on my shelf up there and it just looks so so pretty and so autumnal. And the other pumpkin is kind of like a mandala pumpkin so you just need the same things but you'll just need a sharpie this time. So this is kind of freestyle and it's completely up to you what you want to do with it but I decided just to start off by drawing a little heart in the stem and then some dots around the stem and then I decided just to do this like twirly flower pattern and I'd added some triangles, coloured some of them in black, then I added kind of the classic mandala edging when I'd finished and I went about halfway down the pumpkin and I really liked how this turned out. Again this looks amazing next to the coppery rose gold one on my shelf and it just looks so so pretty and I think it's perfect for my type of room as well because obviously my room is kind of like pink, white and grey so adding a bit of that colour into it instead of adding orange is really nice. So now moving on to the second DIY, which is probably the easiest actually, and that is tattooed candles. So you will need some candles, you can either use candles in glass jars or you can use block candles, it's up to you. You will also need some flash tattoos because who doesn't love flash tattoos? And then you'll also need some like wet, damp um, tissue paper or like kitchen roll, anything like that. So all you want to do is pick out your flash tattoo designs. I will leave the link to where I got mine down below. That I just got 12 sheets off of eBay for three pounds and they came with the most amazing designs. They came with mandalas, they came with, what else do they come with? Uh, little dream catchers, loads and loads of like arrows, just love them. And they were all gold and uh, silver, which was really, really nice as well, because obviously that will match the style of the room that I'm going for. So all you need to do is cut the design out of the tattoo that you want. So just cut around the tattoo edging off of the sheet, making sure you leave the plastic covering on. Then just want to tear the plastic covering away and pop it onto the candle. I did a block candle first and of course you're probably not going to want to burn these because you don't know how that's going to turn out. So this is more as kind of decoration. Then you then just want to pat it onto the candle and just go over with your wet paper towel and dab it on for around 30 seconds. Just until you feel like that is enough for the tattoo to have transferred onto the candle. Once you've done that you literally just want to tear away the tattoo paper left and you should be left with the most gorgeous candle you've ever seen. Literally, I feel this is like the perfect tumbler room decor item, yet yeah, it's so inexpensive. I, that candle literally cost me 30p from Ikea, and one of those tattoos out of the £3 sheet, 5p, like 35p for that candle incredible. I then went ahead and did it again but this time I did it on a glass jar in a candle because this candle I actually wanted to be able to burn. So again this one was only 50p from Ikea and then the tattoo was like 5p it worked out. So I just did exactly the same again. I just dabbed it with some wet paper towel and dabbed it onto there and then just took it away and I had this gorgeous little hand pattern and I loved this. It was gold, silver and black so it was a bit of a mixture compared to the dream catcher which was just gold and I just absolutely loved 
it. It is just so, so pretty on my shelves. They look amazing next to some flowers and next to some other DIYs. Just absolutely love them and I would definitely recommend that you guys do these and just send me pictures on Instagram or Twitter because I absolutely love them. They are insane. Be nice. So for my final DIY, I don't really know what to call it, but I saw Laura DIY do it, but she did a spring version, so I decided to show you guys a bit of a cheaper way of doing an autumn version. So it's like a photo frame, which you can turn into like a photo hanging wall. So you'll need a photo frame, some string, some push pins, a hammer, and some pictures to hang onto it. I just got my pictures from Photo Lab, which is an app I will leave my code to get five pounds free of pictures down below. But so the first thing I did was I just took the back off of my photo frame so there was nothing left in it, literally just the plain white photo frame. I then just measured out some brown string to the length I needed. I made sure there was a little bit extra so just in case I went wrong I could move along and then cut the excess off at the end. And then all you want to do is grab your push pin and you just want to push it through the string into the um, little wooden bit of the photo frame and just hammer that down wait until it is flat make sure it is flat and then do not stop hammering until it is flat how many times do i just say you need to make sure it's flat i don't know but you then just want to do that to the other side and you can add as many layers of string as you wanted i just went for two but of course you could add three or four once you've done that you just want to add all of the things back into the back of the photo frame so i just added a plain white piece of paper my clear acrylic covering and then i just added the back of the photo frame you then just want to turn it around and i actually got these mini wooden pegs from wilkinson's and i just hooked up some of my pictures on there and it looks so pretty like it's over there in my room and i just love it so much because obviously you can swap and change everything you have on there you can add post-it notes even flash tattoos like why not it just looks amazing and i love it so much and it was so inexpensive i also thought i would show you guys some other little things you can do around your room so as i said i love getting copper things and just new cushions and new little ornaments so i actually went to tiger and i picked up a few copper things because they have the most amazing copper things i got this gorgeous little copper basket with some cactuses the copper basket was only three pounds which is like a bargain for a basket and i just got these cute little candles and just everything like that and i also got this amazing cushion from gabby's range at primark i actually went to primark yesterday and they had it and i was like oh my god like i thought it was all sold out so i just bought it and it's just like a rose gold sequin cushion which i love so yeah just add some other colors into your room i reckon they're going for coppers and grays because i think they're the nicest colors for autumn time so that was my diy autumn room decor video i really hope you enjoyed it it was a little bit of a different way of showing you some autumn room decor but i feel like it was a really effective way and it was very kind of original so let's see if we can smash 3,800 likes on this video leave a like down below and also leave a comment because I love replying to your comments, they literally make my day. Also remember to subscribe as we are heading for 100,000 subscribers which is insane. I love you all so so much and I will see you next week for another video. Bye! Lost in the cracks of the landslide